here we are again, Team TFTC, heading down towards the Epping and Exeter area, off of Route 27, that area. Right now we're on 2125, southbound, heading to try and get 10 caches today. This is Scratch It, and so far, it's been an interesting area. I'm going to leave a little token. Seems that this cache used to have scratch tickets in it. And somebody devastated it by taking all the tickets and not leaving anything behind. Well, I'm going to leave something behind myself. So let's go find this cache and report it. All right, we found Scratch It. Unfortunately, I did not leave the coin because the container has got a lot of water in it. Okay, this is, I think I need to find a place to hide. And we're getting close to it. We already found one cache out here. Judy's now joined me. The other half of Team TFTC. Okay, one down, nine to go. Okay, there's twofer. We've just found and logged. I think I need a place to hide. And we also left an unactivated coin. Now we're going for Mother of Three. Let's see if this is the right direction or not. Let's see if I have to backtrack. Okay, we found Mother of Three, stood right on it, signed the log, and this is Charlie of Team TFTC saying, thanks for the cash. Okay, we just found Tube on a corner. Um, if you do this one, watch out for the briars. They are all over the place around that cash. Watch out for Swamp Thing. Oh, that was a couple weeks ago, wasn't it? Huh? Swamp Thing, that was a kind of cache a couple weeks ago. Now this is the type of cache that I like. A few caches within walking distance of each other. Unless we have more swamp ahead. Now this one, this one looks like a uh, an obstacle course. Or a roller coaster. I would hate for this to just start to collapse. Well, that was most interesting. Alright, we found Dr. Watson's Travel Bug Hotel. Very nice cache. Hello, I'm Ranger Casey Horrigan with the White Mountain National Forest, and this is another Ranger Minute. 
Many thousands of people come to the White Mountain National Forest every year to enjoy a great variety of recreational opportunities, including some of the best backpacking and hiking in the country. Every year, hundreds of hikers get lost, injured, and sometimes, sadly, even die. Professional and volunteer search and rescue groups are busy year-round trying to help locate and evacuate these hikers. The U.S. Forest Service and New Hampshire Department of Fish and Game have partnered together to create the Hike Safe program. With some simple preparation and by remembering some essential equipment, you can improve your safety and prevent most common incidents. The Hiker Responsibility Code is a set of principles that all hikers can look to before they hit the trail. It was created to help hikers become more self-aware about their responsibility for their own safety every time they are on a hike. It also acknowledges the inherent danger of hiking in the backcountry. You are responsible for yourself, so be prepared. Be prepared with knowledge and gear. Your planning should start at home. Choose a route and a destination that match your ability, experience, and fitness level. Visitors often pick too challenging a hike or too many miles. Make sure you have enough time allotted to complete your trip. Become self-reliant by learning about the terrain, conditions, local weather, and your before you start. Remember your 10 essential items to always bring with you. They include map and compass, warm clothing, rain gear, extra food, water, flashlight or headlamp, fire starter, first aid kit, whistle, and a pocket knife. Be prepared to leave your plans. Tell someone where you are going, the trails you are hiking, when you will return, and your emergency plans. This can be a family, a friend, or even a coworker. Be prepared to stay together. When you start as a group, hike as a group, and end as a group. Pace your hike to the slowest person. Never leave someone behind or run ahead. Hikers, and especially children, often get lost at trail junctions and end up on the wrong paths. Be prepared to turn back. Weather changes quickly and dramatically in the mountains. Fatigue and unexpected conditions can also affect your hike. Know your limitations and when to postpone your hike. The mountains will be there another day. Be prepared for emergencies. Even if you are headed out just for an hour, an injury, severe weather, or a wrong turn can become life-threatening. Don't assume you will be rescued. Know how to rescue yourself. Be prepared to share the hiker code with others. If we pass this code on to others, the mountains will become a safer, more enjoyable place. So remember, proper planning, packing the essential equipment, and keeping the hiker responsibility code in mind can help ensure that you have a safe, enjoyable trip to the White Mountain National Forest. I'm Ranger Casey Horgan. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoy your visit to the White Mountains, and remember to hike safe. Okay, what a boneyard. You know that truck looks like the uh, truck in um, Night of the Living Dead. All right, seven for seven. Found farmyard boneyard. Thanks for the cash. Now we're on our way to one big rock. This is definitely an interesting place.